Hey everybody, my name is Danny. My gamer tag on PlayStation is Dominican Knives, and I find myself looking toward my grandfather and my abuelo, my grandfather. He's the man that you could think of. Who's the king of the island of the Dominican Republic? You know, my grandfather is so why is he the king? Well, my grandfather has about 20 plus children and I don't know how many grandchildren he has but he's had about four or five different women now you think well he had one woman 20 children that's crazy no 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 he, he couldn't do that <laughs> I think is it an honor to be the son of the grandson of that man I'm playing discarded and this is Battlefield 2042 video game um, I think there's no issue for me to talk over this I think this is the game I, don't, I shouldn't put any violence there. No, that's not the point. Maybe I'll shoot my grandfather for some anger the family has. But um, I think to myself, discarded <laughs> is the title. And how did I think to myself the percept the perception of my my aunts and uncles how they must must have felt about the father. And I don't know about any other man taking another woman, but one man has 20 children and he was there for the most part. Then that's how it was. And I think to myself, how does my family, aunts, uncles feel at that age when they realize the word that was said in the R was that it is normal or that's how it is in the Dominican Republic for a man to have that many children, that many women. That's, that was the norm, but I believe that's not the norm I want to take. I'm not taking that. Um, I'm playing Battlefield 2042. SBK, so Rockstar Rifle. Um, I used to play Black Ops 3. I had to leave Black Ops 3 Call of Duty because I, I didn't have the money. <laughs> I didn't have any money to buy any of the weapon skins, anything like that, any of the supply drops. Um, I was kind of bitter about that. But I'm enjoying this game. I have money now. I can work. But I'm looking at my grandfather more frequently because I have family that came in from the Dominican Republic and they're my family's family immigrants so this, this the home is Spanish amazingly Spanish even if the bone clenching anger you don't want to talk Spanish because you don't know it completely gets to us it's a Spanish home that's how it is even if it gets you to anger but I wonder um, what my classmates view on this or anyone I know or anyone in my family that can hear me as to our grandfather or as to the, to the man that's my grandfather as to how he could manage it because I don't know the laws in the time of Dominican Republic or the management of children or the, you know, the government aid to that extent but I have a picture with him when I was on a couple months old that's fine I, I, I have no problem with that but you can enjoy the gameplay here. Um, have almost everything, not everything, but leveled up. Wow. Have the G57 pistol, combat the combat drum, and playing Liz. So, to the thought of the matter, uh, to my family, I, I, I don't know who in my family is the most successful one. I don't know that. Like the most successful, like married, sing spouse, children are up there, really up there, and they're perfectly fine. I can think about an aunt that um, her son's a preacher. He's my cousin. I can, I can think about an aunt that maybe has her son be a preacher. That's he. This aunt's son is a preacher. So that's what I know. He's in New York, from what I know, and hope he sees this. I really do. He does. Hopes to see this I hope that no one wants to be like my grandfather because I think you find like you feel like the title of the map you feel discarded <laughs> you just left into one room go to another you give your children five minutes <laughs> to or however many minutes I'm, I'm my father's not in the picture he's alive he's not in the picture he chose to not want it that's his decision but that's that's the perception what's the norm when you're in the United States and the norm is your your mother and father together they stay together death to this part maybe you have an issue maybe separation could be there i don't know i think some 
don't have that. Some have the perfection. I believe in perfection. I believe you can have a perfect life. I believe that. I believe you have to make that. Like, to me, it's the simple view of, of the words that I remember was that my grandfather had mentioned Christ. I think to myself, my grandfather was a smart man. I think to myself, there's a story that he likes. And it's a story of the man in the valley of the dry bones. So, as I'm killing enemies here, as they're gonna rot on the ground in the game. You know I'm kidding. But, um, there's a story my grandfather likes. And I think to myself, how does the man who's king of the island feel when he has that many children, that many women, and he has to see, he has to see that the man that provides? Well, the story I see. As we destroy these people. So the story I see is a story in the book of Ezekiel. Right, so let me just go get into that real quick. One of our objectives has been lost. They're digging into the reinforcements now. So, as I was saying, the story of my grandfather that he that he likes that my mother told me. Um, the story of the the dry bones on the, the man. The story of the man with dry bones. It's kind of a different way to talk on it. So, um, before I talk on that, um, I was reading Ecclesiastes and I was reading Ecclesiastes 3:22. So it says here. So I, I perceive that nothing is better than that a man rejoice in his own works, for that is his heritage. But who can bring him to see what will happen after him, right? So, what's the best thing, you know, you can do <laughs> if you can perceive yourself as the king of the island with, you know, a bunch of women, plethora of women, 20 plus children, well, you rejoice that you're the king of the island. I don't know the rejoicing that he had, but I see it very straight in the scripture because there, there's a point that I see right now. And it's simply that um, that was so my grandfather talked about Christ. And he was trying to remove idols from the homes, like certain types of idols. Like, uh, I don't know, like Catholicism, like moving just certain idols in the home, right? But I think to myself, he's the man that brought them into the home because he kind of removed the hope. You know, why would you have hope in an idol of wood, of stone, when, firstly, you know, the man that you have in your life has a different woman. So I, it, it, and the perception is that the woman or something had idols and he tried to remove the idols from the home, but he is the man that brought it there, you understand? But part of the word says, let no man boast, but boast in Christ. So I imagine he tried his best to remove the idols from the home, that type of stuff. But, um, you know, his death, I don't know. I gotta ask. He's, he's the type of man you don't really mention. You don't want to say his name. And that's not the type of man I want to be, right? I'm not going to try to do that. I don't want to do that. Um, that's his inherit. That's, that's his heritage. That's what my grandfather got. The plethora of women, 20 plus children, the problems he had, the work he had to do, which I don't know, which I should go get into. But, as I as I'm here getting slaughtered and slaughtering other people <laughs> um, the story is simply there was a valley and it was full of dry bones full of bones right and it says there were many in the open valley and indeed they were very dry so many bones in the valley so it says so the man can these bones live so the Lord says to the man Ezekiel says prophesy to these bones and say to them all dry bones hear the word of the Lord says, surely I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. Because I will put the sinews on you, bring flesh upon you, cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. So, Ezekiel prophesied that. And as he prophesied that, he said, there was a noise. And a suddenly, a rattle, and the bones came together, bone to bone. Indeed, as I looked, the flesh came upon together, the skin came together, everything came together, but there was no breath in them. So... Um, I take the scripture in the Bible as a way for me to perceive how a person could feel or how um, 
you can see, you know, if if your father was the breath, you know, of of life to your mother, and he passed, you feel that you don't have the breath, for example, or um, like that. But how I view my grandfather is that he's the one that all the children want to have. Like we love our father, we can't see our father, right? So it's like. I can see my aunts and uncles as dry bones in a valley and how they feel like my father's not here, he's alive, he's with another son, another daughter, he's not here with us and they're angry or maybe the perception that who was his favorite woman that he spent time with. I don't know the number of the woman, but it makes me think that I can see why he, in essence, had a liking to that story. But continuing says, um, the Lord says again. So, the Lord says to Ezekiel, the prophet, says, prophesy to the breath. Prophesy. And say to the breath, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, so east, so north, south, east, and west. Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain that they may live. So imagine, it's like, you know, not that they're dead. You know, breathe on these slain. You know, breathe on those enemies I could breathe upon. The, the squad mates right now, Christ, your, the spirit of God breathe on them or something. This will reach him on the face, in the face. But I have faith that it could reach him. But um, so what else to say? All right. So later on, keep keep reading it. The bones come together, everything comes together, flesh comes together, the muscles, the nerves, everything comes together, and there's no breath, and then God says prophesy on the breath, and they have breath in them. You know, he, come, he grabs four winds, and he gets breath in them, and I think to myself, so I play a video game, and here I am shooting you know, enemies in, in a game, I think about the controller, I think I'm in control of my life, and I choose where I want to go, I don't want to follow the steps of my grandfather. It's gonna go down. It's not gonna be contentment. It's not gonna be you see a wedding. So I want to see a wedding, and that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go be the man that gets a wedding for the family, so that they can take part of it. I'd rather go do that. Um. So it says here, verse 14. It says I will put my spirit in you, and you shall live. I will place you in your own land, that you shall know that I, the Lord, has spoken it and performed it. So, all right, verse 14. So it says the Lord says. That he should put you in your own land. So if my uncle, aunt, my uncle's aunt, my cousins, they felt like they were slain by the birth because their father was not near, right? It must have been a sense of sadness. There must have been complete sadness because you can't see that. I feel sad because I can't see my own father. My father's a man that got divorced. A couple times, actually. <laughs> a couple times he got divorced. So I have the sadness that he's not here right but it's you know it's there either way but um right now I have the issue of immigration my family's a bunch of immigrants from the Dominican Republic so I have to see that you know same as since the Lord spoke you know that the Lord spoke um my family's here they're from the DR they're here now they came in February of this year um my home is primarily speaking in Spanish. I have very, very little time to even speak in English unless I talk right now. And I have the want to keep trying with this. And I don't know the heavy burden must have been to be my grandfather, but I can imagine that <laughs> he'd have to work a lot for it. And I don't want to get into it too much as to what he could have done or his effort. I think there were issues there as it was, anger issues problems maybe possibly there was but um I, as I'm playing there's a ranger up there and I couldn't kill this guy either and the ranger just throws himself off <laughs> so yeah so I think as I view my grandfather and stuff I question where I'm going I'm not sure where I'm going with the commentary, but I haven't, I haven't practiced it for a while. But, um, yeah, we just keep watching.
Sorry, right, just doing some editing. Just trying to get my thoughts in motion. Um, I was getting hit by the helicopter. Could not see that at all. But, um, I, 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 I recognize something, which is this. How did the provision of my family come to pass? Well, my grandma's born in the 50s at the time. Um, he's alive, she's fine. From my mom's side. My dad's side, my grandma passed. That's fine. Um, I, I, I see how my, my family has success because they, they have, um, what do you say? It's, 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 uh, bodega. It's, uh, it's, uh, convenience. It's like, it's like the, the corner block store in, 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 in DR where it's at. It has, um, it's played, I'm not mentioning the, the street name or anything, but it's like the, the store by the house on the street. And then you can go there, walk there, you get yourself your morning coffee there. You get yourself, um, we'll go let you know that, like, you get yourself homemade prepared juices, um, prepared sandwiches for you. Um, I remember being very really little and going there. I remember going there and thinking that it wasn't, it was a painful experience because you don't know anyone. And it was like, um, when you could feel, you, like, it's like if you could perceive anything that was gonna go down, you could perceive it and you could even feel it. And I, I don't know the extent of the R and stuff, I never lived there, but I could perceive certain things that was going to happen in the family when I was little, and I think children are not so dumb, you could perceive it. But I think, how does my grandfather's decision to have that many children affect the family, right? It, it does affect the family, I can't meet other people, but um, they had provision, they had a convenience store, successful, from what I know. I um, remember seeing some birds, and we're the dog on the little, little tiny stretch of, of cement between two homes. The dog named Koki. Um, so I like Koki. Dog named Koki. What you call Koki? Um, there were success. There was success there. Um, I don't know anything else um, in detail, but I have my family here, and I would be to talk to them, and it's simply. It's kind of a pain to only talk Spanish when you're not in, uh, how do you say, you're not, you're not in a bilingual school. I was in a bilingual school at the time for a couple of years. That taught me so much, I wish I never left it, because I would have had different friends. I would have had more sp Hispanic friends, but I went to the north side of the state, and I had to lose the Spanish friends, and I made very little Spanish friends because of that. And I really wish I never did, but... I know Spanish. I could I could write Spanish. I could read Spanish. The Bible is my 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 kind of number one source at the moment in translation, and I think that's important. I think to myself, there's a question I have, and it's um like those who speak, those who are Hispanic. Do you know Spanish? Do you know Spanish? You know, do you do you know to write it? I think to myself, well, if you don't know how to write it. At least read the Bible, because you can buy a bilingual version of it. And it's simply, you can see the translation page to page. And it's like, well, you read the story page to page. And this is how I see it. But, I think, um, the last part I'm going to make, you can enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Um, I have a cousin that I don't know him at all, but I know he's a preacher somewhere in New York. But, um, this is where I leave it off. I was playing as Liz today. She has her guided missile rockets. And I hope my classmates enjoy this. I hope my classmates give time to it and you can see it and even comment. You know, I hope my family that's nearby sees it. Um, I'll see what I do. I'd rather think to myself, when I have my children, I'm gonna make them and have them watch that I made something so that they can have the inspiration to do it as well. And I don't want them to have a heart that's cold to the point they drop their kids off, like the map name. But there's some things I don't know yet. I think, I wonder to some extent what the Bible says um, in Exodus. Like your grandfather's curse and stuff like that. Father's curse visiting the second, third, and fourth generation. What's there? I think to myself, so what, what's not my norm? What's the norm that I don't know? Cause I don't know it, you know. We don't mention the grandfather. I don't know the other woman, and I think 
this should be for the entertainment of the fact <laughs> that that's the truth. I'm the grandson of that type of man, but I leave it to you guys to decide. I hope my classmates hear this. I hope they can decide to look and um, comment as well. Um, to any classmate that was in my Italian class, it's Italian. I hope you know more Italian, but I leave it like, leave it like that. You guys can enjoy the gameplay. Attacking Bravo 2!
Russian assault has failed. They're retreating. You've done it. <laughs> 